Are you going places or left behind without a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Mary Travelbest will bring you the best tips and her travel mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travelbest's Independent Travel Guide. This is for women who travel, who want to travel, and especially for those who want to travel independently. What's on your bucket list? I'll help you get there. I'll respond to your travel questions as well as share my mistakes and missteps in travel. Because I've made just about every mistake, you don't have to. I wrote and published the best-selling book, CD, and website, The World's First Guide to Independent Travel. And since 1993, I've been running a marketing business, raising four children with my husband, and been a university professor while traveling. These travel experiences are necessary tools, so I want to share them so you make your trip the very best, like travel best. In this episode, the FAQ is, how do those from other nations view American travelers? The destination, New Zealand, South Island. The lesson learned is getting ripped off while traveling. And the tip is to listen to other podcasts about travel because this one from Dr. Mary Travelbest is just one of many. So the FAQ, how do others view American travelers? The answer is a bit uncomfortable even to ask, but so realistic. To those in foreign countries, they may look at Americans in a negative light, mostly because they only know what they see on news media. America has the, quote, World Series in baseball but it's all teams from the USA and Canada. Being the greatest nation in the world may not serve the needs of people in other countries. So remember that you are a representative of your home nation, wherever you go. I just wanna say overall New Zealand was one country who seemed to really like American travelers. You can see the show notes to read more about the image worldwide and how it's at an all time low rating from those outside the US. Today's independent destination is New Zealand's South Island. My friend Jenny Latto from nearby Auckland, New Zealand, is traveling inside of her country due to the pandemic, and she's enjoying it more than ever since the tourists are all, almost all Kiwis these days. She's going to travel with a few friends to the South Island for a holiday and a multi sport race. These teams do running cycling, kayaking, and more. So you can check the South Island map of New Zealand. Just look and see how green it is. One city you may have heard of is Christchurch, where there was a big earthquake and a massacre. Christchurch is hotter than Auckland since it's not surrounded by water. When I visited New Zealand, I flew Air New Zealand. I loved the service from start to finish. I flew all over the country, and it was easy to get around and lovely to see all the sheep. Once you can travel there, be sure to give yourself time to know the people as well as the beauty there. If I had limited time in New Zealand, I would visit the Milford Sound. It's not far from Queenstown on the western side of the South Island. One of my worldly travel friends told me he thinks it's the best part of the earth. And in many ways, This area has similar sights to Norway. The boat trip through the fjords was somewhat magical to me. The waterfalls are stunning, and there's plenty more to see. The Franz Josef Glacier is where you can see a glacier firsthand and up close. I started out as a passenger in a plane on land, and minutes later, I was ending up walking on that glacier. This Franz Josef Glacier is one of the steepest glaciers in New Zealand, and it descends from its high origins in the Southern Alps, deep in the lush native rainforest of Westlands National Park. It also moves faster than your average glacier, which creates some incredible features in the glacier, such as ice caves, tunnels, and crevices, all of which are constantly changing and evolving. So no two days are ever the same. Something you can do is ride a chairlift above town in Queenstown. And don't forget to listen to the North Island episode of New Zealand. 
Now for today's lesson learned, getting ripped off while traveling. When did I get ripped off? Well, I've almost never gotten taken when I'm traveling. Most people have been especially nice and thoughtful to me. However, here's what happened to my friend, a very seasoned traveler. She was walking in a downtown city, a large city. It was in a construction zone, so the sidewalk was narrow. It was nighttime, and someone walked up to her and asked her a question, and then physically took her entire backpack and ran away with it. That's the kind of story that sounds made up, but it wasn't. So if you are ever in an area that may seem to be trouble, make sure you have an escape. If you are wearing a hidden money belt, that's the most safe you can be. So today's travel advice is to listen to other travel podcasts. You have a choice when it comes to other podcasts. We hope you listen to the following. The Globetrotter Lounge with Lisette, which is an interview format with inspiring women guests who have traveled and share their stories. Or what about listening to the history of New York through the podcast Bowery Boys? Or even listen to the Thoughtful Travel Podcast with Aussie Amanda Kendall, who talks about practical and useful tips from other travelers. Today, I want to bring meaning to your travel. So thank you for listening to the world's first guide to independent travel with Dr. Mary Travelbest. If you want to know more, just search for me on the web, social media, and everywhere. I want to help women travel. Please send me your travel questions so I can help you and others also. Who knows, maybe you'll find your questions in my new book on travel. I'm looking for you to travel best. So go ahead, let me know what's on your bucket list. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.